Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in fives. In this tutorial, we will learn how to skip count in fives with numbers up to 100. So let's have a look at our first example. We've got number 65. And the question is, what number comes after 65 if we are counting in fives. So how do we do this? Well, there's more than one method. The best method, well, you can use the number grid. The problem with the number grid is that in an exam situation or if you've got a test, you can't always draw the number grid very quickly. So we're going to find a different method, and that is the dot method. We're going to draw five dots above the arrow. Five dots because we are counting in fives. Our starting point is number 65. So let's count forwards from 65. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. That is our answer, 70. The number after 65, when counting in fives, is 70. Now let's have a look at our second example. This time we've got number 90. And the question is the same. What number comes after 90 if we are counting in fives? So let's draw five dots. One, two, three, four four five so we've spread the we've spread the dots out this time our starting point is 90 so let's count forwards from 90 90 91 92 93 94 and 95 let's write that down 95 that is the answer so the number after 90, when counting in fives, is 95. We're now going to look at a slightly different example. And that's our question. We've got two, two numbers, 55 and 65, and we've got three blanks. Our task is to fill in the blanks. Now this looks a bit similar to number patterns. We will come on to that in later tutorials. Over here we are simply counting in fives. So we're starting at 55. We're going to try to work out the first blank number. There's our arrow and we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five dots. Our starting point is 55. So let's count forwards from 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. That's our answer, 60. Now they've already told us the next one is 65 and we know that's correct. Going from 60 to 65, let's work through it anyway. Just to make sure we've got it all correct. Above the arrow we put in five dots. And plus this is good practice. We're starting at number 60, so let's count forwards from 60. Got 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. That 65 is the same as the 65 here. So that is all correct. Okay, we now have to work out the next blank number. We're starting at 65. There's our arrow, and here are our five dots. Our starting point is number 65. 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. 
So that is our answer, 70. We've still got one blank left. I'm just going to change colors for this. So we start at 70, and there's our arrow. How many dots are there? We're counting in fives, so therefore there's got to be five dots. So we start at 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. And that is the answer. And that is the sequence if we start at number 55. If we're starting at 55, the next set of numbers in fives is 60, 65, 70, and 75. So that is how we count in fives with numbers up to 100.